Hi everyone, this is Killshot from 999 Gaming with today's Fallout Shelter video. In this video I am going to give you some advanced tips. A couple of these tips are just going to be to help your gameplay go a little bit more smoothly and uh, one of them is going to be something that you can avoid whenever you get maxed uh, number dwellers. So I'm just going to start out with a couple of the issues that I've ran into with the game that have slowed me down just a little bit. So the first one you can see is uh, stem pack production. So what I've been able to do is my um, in my med labs I was producing so many stem packs that I was always maxed out. So what you can do is you can build an additional clinic even if you don't have the scientist or the doctors or whatever uh, the people are trained in intelligence in order to put them in there. Uh, having the room alone will increase your maximum capacity of stem packs. So if you ran into the same thing that I ran into where you just had them making them really quickly and nowhere to go except to click on them, build a couple extra rooms and that'll increase your threshold so you can kind of house more Later on you can destroy the room or you can just build a bigger room all the way across whenever uh, your main objective is to send more people out into the wasteland. So I think that will uh, help some of the people and, and answer some of the, the uh, comments and some of the issues I've seen either in the uh, videos or in the forums. So one of the next things that I ran into was just the overall training. I've got a lot of training rooms set up but not a lot for um, endurance and not a lot for the athletics and not a lot for uh, the charisma as well. So what I wanted to do and, and also the perception. Um, so I've got like a couple rooms for strength, I've got several rooms to increase the luck and I'm getting maxed out in some things a little bit faster than other things. So what I wanted to do is I was on a spending spree yesterday anyway so I went ahead and built a, um, oh, we, we'll put that on hold, we got a, uh, a club on fire. Uh, maybe, I don't know if that's a song. But anyway, uh, we'll put this fire out in the club, and then um, I'm going to go back and show you really what I did as far as the training, because I've got limited space um, in the club. As a matter of fact, I can only get four people there training at one time. So what I decided to do is go down and build an additional club, build an additional athletics area, an endurance area, and also perception area. And they're going to be a little bit bigger. So you can see I dropped down two more levels, and these are rooms that are actually three rooms that are joined together real quick look at some of my uh, level 50 and some of the training challenges but I haven't filled them up yet but and I'm gonna upgrade them one more grade as well too but I just wanted to show you really quickly um, and what I'm gonna do is my happiness has been 99 percent and if you're 99 percent happiness it bumps up and gives you 100 percent the next day I've never actually seen it on my screen at 100 but every day when I get it, um, the reward it goes up to 100 but you can see I pulled one person out of the radio broadcast booth and my happiness dropped down to 97 so at this point in the game, it's not that important that my happiness is 99% or 100 as long as I keep it up to a certain level. So I'm going to pull some of these uh, people that are in, in the radio station and just drop them down and get them some additional training. So that will probably keep my happiness around 90%. I may even go lower to 80%, but I want to get the training uh, done as quick as possible. And that way I can drop them back in there or get people out into the wastelands a little bit quicker. Uh, and once I get them uh, max stats, they're going to get more caps, they're going to get more gear. So it's just going to speed this whole cycle up a, a little bit more. And, and I've just kind of hit a little bit of a roadblock as far as waiting and waiting and waiting for some additional people to go in and train. So we'll click a, uh, a few of the items here. The, I still got some challenges with um, I cap out my food and cap out my water. But I really need to upgrade my strength in some of these rooms. I don't think it's a point... Um, at, at this point, I don't think it's about uh, building more strength rooms or more reactors or more power plants. I think it's really about training strength and getting uh, these power plants maxed out so they produce a little bit faster. So you can see a quick uh, scroll through of just some of the rooms. And the last kind of tip, and this is probably more of a pitfall uh, because most, a lot of you are not at 200 dwellers. But when you get at 200 dwellers, you run into a very unique problem, is if you have uh, two people in the barracks, they're going to continue to reproduce. So you could have 200 um, max dwellers and still have pregnant women that are within your um, shelter. The problem with that is, um, and I hate to say this in the most sensitive way, they won't die. So if there's a fire, they run out of the room. Uh, you can't take them out and put them in the wasteland. So you can't have them die there and, and, rev and get new dwellers. So you're kind of stuck with them um, unless the game comes up with a way in order to get rid of those. So and um, they're, they're, the only way you can level them, I guess, is to put them into a room um, because the quickest way to level is to get them out of the wastelands and they won't go out and explore. 
So make sure that any of the women that you have that are wearing the yellow shirts that are pregnant are in the room. That's the only way you're going to level them up, and it levels up extremely slow. So uh, leave your comments below if you got any tips, got any tricks. Uh, look forward to seeing them. My name is Killshot. Please subscribe and look for more videos. Peace.